Hi folks, welcome to this screencast. I'm very excited to talk about what happened in September. In September, I published one of my oldest software projects as free software under BSD style license. Since I manage it with uh, Mercurial Revision Control, I decided to publish it on Bitbucket. So if you go to bitbucket.org, you can take a look. Uh, the name of the project is GZX and it's my personal Sinclair ZX Spectrum emulator. So you can get the source for it and as you will see it's a three clause BSD style license and it's a very old project. I've started working on this some time be even before 2000, I believe. And the story is that at that time I was trying to switch from using Windows to using Linux. And there were some reasonably good ZX Spectrum emulators for DOS, but there was just one emulator for Linux that I was aware of, which was Expect VGA Spect, and it wasn't terribly good. <clears throat> so I decided to create my own emulator that would work in Linux and be as good or perhaps better than those available for DOS. I've worked on this project for several years, then it lay dormant for many years, but recently I started reviving it and I've been using it in some of my recent projects to do some interesting things and I've added some interesting features. So I thought it people might find it useful. Um, the problem was I didn't think the software was ready for public consumption so I wanted to polish it up a bit first but then I decided that if I'm going to wait until it's perfect, then I'm never going to publish it. So I decided to get something out of the door. So please keep in mind, this is not really production ready in the sense it's not ready to be used by a casual user. I need to do a lot of polishing before you can easily use some of the features without having to enable them by editing the source code and stuff like that. Still, I think it's pretty interesting and I'm planning to do some follow-up videos and I will try to show you how to download the source, how to build it and what you can do with the emulator and how to do it. The emulator has some interesting features like SPEC256 support or high resolution support and I will talk about these in more detail in the follow-up videos. One interesting feature I've been working on lately was I added support for emulating the built-in MIDI port of the Spectrum 128K. So you can send the MIDI output to basically uh, your MIDI device. And another interesting thing was I was able to use the CPU emulation core and compile it for AVR 8-bit RISC. With some little tweaks I was able to cram the emulator core into the uh, 16K of built-in flash on the microcontroller and use that to emulate the ZX Spectrum on, the, on this hardware device. And I folded back those changes into the upstream code so it can be built from the same source base. So that's basically it for this short introduction. Please stay tuned for more videos about this project. So I will introduce it in more detail and explain what you can do with it. That's it for today. Thank you for watching and see you soon.